nighttime stories with Nicole because we're finally home after being in town all day. Uh, guess who found 50 cent a dozen eggs today? This girl who bought six. Me again. Uh, so six dozen for three dollars. Yes, please. I accept. So, of course, that was after I had already spent $13 for five dozen. But 50 cent eggs must come home with me. So 50 cent a dozen eggs must come home with me because family of nine. And baby week 12 update. Baby's heartbeat was 158, which is normal-ish. The highest I've gotten at home is 157, but that doesn't mean really anything. And measures exactly 12 weeks and one day. So my numbers were bing point on. Um, and baby was jumping like a bean. So I'm finishing out my progesterone prescription, which I have been on 200 milligrams of progesterone nightly. It's in a suppository, but it doesn't go where suppositories go. Just saying. Um, it, it goes in the other area. And then that's just because I'm 35. So apparently I'm a geriatric mom now. Um, never thought that I would be called that, but I am. And because I have had preeclampsia in two of my 12 pregnancies, I am also now on baby aspirin daily. So there we go. But other than that, I've only gained three pounds, which is not bad. And for, for me, for the first trimester. <laughs> and today I wore my This is Gluten Freedom shirt. And somebody literally stopped me in Winco and asked me if I, if I was gluten free. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite reason that I wear this shirt because then I get to talk about my, my lifestyle and how we feed our kids. And then I meet other people who have celiac disease and they don't feel alone anymore because um, feeling isolated and alone is um, very common with gluten-free living for whatever reason, whether it's autoimmune or an allergy, right? And, or a sensitivity. And feeling alone leads us to feel sad and depressed. And we don't want that. We want to feel included and like, like we're a part of a group, even if it's a really super duper special group. 